It takes four people two days to paint a house. How many days will it take eight people to paint ten houses? First, how long would it take four people to paint two houses? Since there's twice as much work to be done, it takes twice as long to paint twice as many houses. An increase in houses will increase the time it takes to paint them by the same factor. In the original problem, the number of people increases as well. Let's consider what would happen if we only increased the number of people. Since they can do twice as much work in the same amount of time, doubling the amount of people would cut the number of days in half. We can combine these concepts to solve the original problem. How many days will it take eight people to paint 10 houses? First, doubling the number of people halves the number of days, and then multiplying the number of houses by 10 also multiplies the number of days it takes to paint them by 10. So it takes eight people 10 days to paint 10 houses. With a fixed number of people, the relationship between houses and time is an example of direct proportionality. This means their ratio must remain constant. One house over two days has the same ratio as two houses over four days. And with a fixed number of houses, the relationship between people and time is an example of inverse proportionality. This means their product must remain constant. Four people times two days has the same product as eight people times one day. Understanding these relationships makes solving these problems a breeze. Let's try another puzzle. It takes one tea bag six minutes to make two cups of tea. How long will it take two tea bags to make five cups of tea with the same concentration? Double the tea bags first to half the number of minutes. Try using direct proportionality to finish this problem. Learn more about proportionality at brilliant.org.